Hey there, JC here. Welcome to the lesson number 11 of the course Guitar for Beginners. In this 11th lesson, I'm going to show you how strumming adding flourish to the chords. Okay, let's get on board. What's adding flourish to the chords? By only adding and or removing a finger, you can add a special effect to the chord. I'm going to give you an example strumming along the chord progression C major, A minor, D minor and G7. For every chord, we can add a flourish. For example, for the chord C major, this one, we can remove the index finger and leave the string number 2 open. Or we can add the little finger on the fret number 3, string number 2. This is adding flourish, removing the index finger and adding the little finger. For the chord A minor, the same. Remove the index finger and leave the string number two open. And or add the little finger on the fret number three, string number two. Okay. For the D minor chord, the same, but on the string number one. And so remove the index finger and add the little finger on the fret number three, but string number one. For the G7 chord, the same, removing the index finger and adding the little finger on the fret number three, string number one. Okay, now we can try strumming along the chord progression. First, we strumming without adding flourish, then removing the index finger, then adding the little finger, and then removing and adding the fingers. The, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down. Okay, let's try.
can uh, we can repeat this exercise setting 80 bpm Sounds good. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching, have fun and see you next time.